Development of the early urban core neighborhoods in Charlotte placed a really high focus and value on trees. So there's really, really high canopy coverage and high quantities of big trees throughout some of Charlotte's oldest neighborhoods. We are the 16th largest city in the United States right now, which is exciting, but it also poses a lot of challenges because we have to do a lot more now to protect it from development, from those aging trees that were planted in the early 1900s. Charlotte is unique as such a large city because the trees have been protected. We have a lot of green space here. I think we're in between 46 and 47 percent in our last canopy analysis, and that's different from many large cities, and it's pretty equally divided across the whole city, and that's what makes Charlotte unique. Some of the things that the Charlotte community does to really give us a great ranking in, in, for green space is these strong policies and preservation requirements, but also there's a really big emphasis on placemaking. So trees are important here. We plant to preserve a lot of trees. So those benefits, they're reached on a greater level, not just citywide, but they're scalable to certain neighborhoods. Charlotte's going to continue to grow, and we need to focus our efforts to really provide those benefits to every neighborhood on an equitable approach. We communicate with our citizens in many different ways. We are building our outreach program right now. We're actually in the process of creating a tree ID book to help people learn what trees may be in their backyards, which is exciting for us because we feel that if someone knows what the tree is, maybe they'll take a little bit better care of it. I think that's a great thing. So for next steps on innovation, City Council recently adopted the comprehensive plan, which is a plan guiding the growth of Charlotte till 2040. And in that plan, there's a high focus on tree canopy, both in the built environment and in the kind of general tree canopy, natural environment. But they're also very expensive to maintain. So we're trying to provide a community-driven program that helps folks maintain those large trees on their property. It's a really exciting time in Charlotte for trees. I am looking forward to all of the planning work that's going on and the citizens getting involved and in helping to grow our tree canopy in the future.